Occasionally, an employee will forget what their username and or password is. If you pull up an employee's record, you can easily find out what their username is right near the top of their record here. The format for an employee's username will be the first initial of the employee's first name, the first six letters of their last name, and the last four digits of their SOCH. If an employee has six or less letters in their last name, then it will simply be their first initial, their entire last name, and the last four digits of their SOCH, as we see here with this particular test employee, where it's T, T-E-S-T, -E 2244. Now, an employee's default password will be their date of birth in the format of four-digit year, two-digit month, and two-digit day. For example, this employee's default password based off their date of birth here would be 1970, the four digit year, 01, the two digit month, and then 05, the two digit day. If for whatever reason the employee cannot get that password to work, you can change the password yourself. Simply select the change password link off to the left. And then you can simply type in a password of your choosing. A commonly used one is simply just the word password. And then let the employee know what it is, and they should be able to log in. If they have attempted to log in too many times unsuccessfully, their account may be locked. To check, simply select the Unlock Account link over here to the left. And if locked, you'll be given the option to unlock the account by clicking the green button here. And once that is actually selected, the employee's account will therefore become unlocked, and they should be able to use their username and password to successfully log into the system.